types of Australian stock saddles. One has stuffing like this here, and the other has fleece on the bottom. They're for two different kind of horses. Here I have an older mare with a sway back now. And she's got a, a wither that's becoming more prominent as she gets older. I won a couple of steeplechases on this horse 15 years ago in a younger day, obviously, and she was a fast horse and still a good horse too. But however, she's got a back that comes down here. Now to accommodate the contour of that back, this stuffing is ideal, which is the oldest way that Australians used to do it. This was the beginning of the Australian stock saddle. Again, as you can see, it's really just a big English saddle underneath. In fact, the whole saddle is just a big English saddle. So what I want is for the stuffing to follow the line of this horse's back, to exert even pressure there. A fleece panel takes a bit of work to do that because it's going to bridge. So let's put that on here. And now we can see how that fits nicely. It's touching the back of the horse here. It's touching the horse there. If I run the flat of my palm up there, it's touching the horse in the center too. Now this is a new saddle, has never been ridden, but after it's been ridden for as little as half an hour, the whole saddle comes down. And the underside of this saddle virtually becomes a relief of the back of the horse. More comfort. But and the higher the withers get, it doesn't matter with this saddle. You can have big old thoroughbreds with high razorback kind of withers and you can still make this saddle work. Whereas a fleece line saddle is pretty impossible to work on a very high withered horse. And especially as they get older like this with that back swaying, you need the stuffing to get in there and accommodate it. That's why we have always a stuffed panel saddle in our vast range of saddlery. Because there's a vast range of horses out there and they all need to be fit correctly. One thing I would like to mention about this system, when you get a new saddle, which this is, you'll notice it appears to be sitting a little high. Don't panic about that. Don't go throwing yourself off a tall building. It's not a serious deal, okay? After you ride the saddle for as little as half an hour, it will come down two inches, maybe two and a half, which is why when you work uh, riding around your arena, that you have somebody on the ground so they can catch a few more holes as the saddle comes down and the girth gets more loose. And after two, three hours of riding, now it is formed to the horse. And that's the idea of this old system. When I was a boy chasing cattle in the bush in Australia, we stuffed that with straw or anything we could find when we didn't have horse hair or whacked or took the tail off the horse and stuffed that in there. Or tore up your mate's shirt and stuffed that in there. Anything, doesn't matter. It's a stuffed panel. We actually use wool or horse hair, mostly horse hair. And this is called a stuffed panel Australian saddle. Thank you.